And more help is on the way for flood victims in Texas as the water begins to recede and some areas show signs of getting back on its feet. But officials say they still have a long road ahead of them. Much of the relief effort in Texas is shifting from rescue to recovery. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. We've just learned from the White House President Trump plans to donate $1 million in personal funds to Harvey relief efforts. So far, the confirmed death toll from the storm stands at at least 31. But officials near that number could grow. They say it could grow in the coming days. Vice President Mike Pence saw firsthand some of Harvey's damage this morning. The vice president visited Rockport, Texas and helped clean up debris left behind by the storm. And two naval ships are headed to the Gulf Coast to help with the relief effort. The Navy says the ships can provide medical assistance and security, among other things. Some 32,000 people are still in shelters in Texas and more than 44,000 homes have been damaged or destroyed. Rescues are also still underway. CBS News reporter Danielle Nottingham is in Port Arthur, Texas tonight. Danielle. Yuki and Jessica, this is a community in survival mode. And if you look behind me, this is why. Port Arthur, Texas is still underwater. And local officials are asking for all the help they can get to help save lives. Two helicopters hovered over this apartment complex in Port Arthur, Texas, working to pull residents to safety. The flood water started rising here after Harvey's second landfall. And boats helped homeowners who fled the storm retrieve essential belongings. What's it like in your house? Oh, nothing like a house. Nearby in Beaumont, flooding took out the city's water service, and Baptist Hospital had to transfer its patients, including several storm evacuees. The interesting thing is we were prepared for water. We just did not expect the water system to go down. Volunteers with boats are pitching in to deliver much needed food and water to people who decided to stay in their homes and not evacuate. What do you think about these guys coming here from Alabama? I think that they are God sent. Early this morning, two explosions rippled through the Arkema plant northeast of Houston, igniting new environmental concerns. The loss of power and refrigeration for volatile chemicals means more may be coming. Water has started receding in some areas, but roads in the Canyon Gate neighborhood southwest of the city are still rivers. Neighbors LaShavia and Keenan fled days ago. A complete stranger picked us up at the Chevron station and took us to the shelter. A complete stranger took my whole family into his home. They made a tough decision to leave pets behind and today went on a successful rescue mission. And here's another look at the scale of the devastation here. It's going to take a long time for them to put the pieces together. And for the moment, everyone being rescued from their homes, uh, they're being sent out of town. In Port Arthur, Texas, Danielle Nottingham. Jessica, back to you. Danielle, thank you. The French 